Good morning. I wanted to make a video, um, hopefully to give some information and help out a young man that's considering buying a mini skid and give my impressions of the benefits and downfalls to uh, what he's looking at. The fellow is a young guy with Stets, I think it's Stets Lawn Care, and he's in consideration of buying a tracked mini skid, but I think it's a bad idea for him um, like the job that he was doing when he made the video suggesting he might be interested in it, that job, you would have spent more effort and time in preventing damage than you would have gained, uh, in the labor savings. Because with these machines, they do so much damage to the ground. Even the, this one's gas powered, even, even when I track it up the hill, it leaves a, a track line just from its mass and impressions from each of the um, knobs on the teeth, which when you look at it, they wouldn't look significant, but the end effect is I can't keep grass on this hill, which is bad for me. So um, the problem is with a job like that, you'd have to lug around plywood, which means you gotta store plywood, and then you gotta have you got the cost of the plywood to uh you know to initially purchase it so that you don't damage the lawn um tracked in my opinion is good for a big machine like a bobcat or something where you're doing big jobs and beings that the job is larger like you're getting rid of an old tree somebody wanted gone a long time for 20 years so they don't care if it takes uh, uh, six months for their saw to regrow or whatnot, you know what I mean? Um, things like that. But with um, the jobs that he's doing, I don't think it's a good idea. You want to be able to um, have like a business policy where you you have a prohibition like you do with your mowers that you're not going to skid on anybody's lawn. You don't want to turn burn from a mower. Why would you want a machine that digs a four foot wide divot every time you got a turn um you want to bring the most value to the customer where like on his job where it looks like there's no there's no damage there's no impact other than the improvement um because if you have to uh say to the customer well yeah this landscaping looks great but your lawn's gonna have to have some time to to grow back in you're whether you think you are or not you're discounting your 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 productivity there because it's either going to come off of your price or it's going to come off your reputation it may be that the tract machine grades better but sooner or later, you got to turn. Like if you're doing pavers and stuff, person might think that because it averages out the, the bumps and everything that it would turn or that it would uh, grade better, give you a flatter, smoother grade more easily. The problem is at some point you got to turn. You know what I mean? And when you do, you just wreck the grade on that much of that, that you're probably going to have to hand... Uh, regrade or something and it may push better but you who cares about how much a person can bulldoze with a machine like this if you're trying to bulldoze with a machine like this you're using the wrong machine for the wrong work as far as ground pressure i think it's irre irrelevant with small machines as well because if you get the center articulated mini loaders then you're usually got some nice turf tires, flotation type tires that are wide and uh, and you can air them down. You're not gonna be carrying that big a load usually with a mini type machine. So as far as ground pressure, I don't think that that's relevant um, with this size type machine. And with the right setup, with the mini center articulating loader, it's likely that your your ground pressure is going to be less. It's it's likely it's going to be less than a wheelbarrow 
Um, so I don't think that that's a good issue to weigh in the advantages. As far as turn radius, it's, it's kind of a moot point because with these machines to try to prevent the damage, like say you're thinking, well, it's, you're gonna be in tight spots and you need to spin on a dime. Well, you're probably, after running these for a while, gonna realize that you gotta make a multi-point turn or else you're gonna have huge divot anyway. So you'll, you'll find that you'll have to do a lot less point turns on a center articulated um, mini loader than you would with this. And each of those turns has likely no damage or at least significantly less damage than uh, each point of turn with this. Now in Florida, you can't hardly uh, turn at all without it ripping up the sod because we have sandy soil and stuff. It may be a little different up north. So, and there, it might be easier to run one of these without damaging. But for down here in the south, it's definitely not a, uh, this is not the way to go. The machines that I like the idea of for small stuff like what he was doing on that little landscape job is the um, Avant or the Multi One from Italy. The first video that caught my eye on the Multi One was, uh, I think it was labeled uh, the Ferrari of loaders. And it was a bigger model that was on that video, but what impressed me was the 30 some mile per hour you know, ground speed. That's another issue. The ground speed on these uh, track mini skids is horrifically slow. I mean, you can, uh, a brisk walk is four times the speed of that machine unless you have it in high gear, which then it has no torque, no power. So anyway, the Multi One and the Balance, they are the best ones that I saw. Now there's a lot more coming on the market um but i don't think skidding is the way to go with them so i'm talking our center articulated and they have so many attachments they have better ground speed and for what he's doing and talking about expanding landscaping i think he needs to look at one that has the telescoping boom in case down the line he gets a, a dump trailer and he can then he can load over the side of a dump trailer on debris removal or whatever so that's my opinion of it hopefully he doesn't go the wrong route but one way to do it is to rent and not make an opinion based upon a job that's cookie cutter fit for the skid maybe rent in multiple jobs and i think what he's going to find out there's more labor in preventing damages with the with the skid track skid mini skid than the labor savings on the job that he's trying to accomplish definitely whichever type or model you look at the biggest factors should be how many different attachments are available for that machine because you may want to get a mini harley rake or something and along with that a concept is does it have the high flow and low flow hydraulics that you need to run something like that um especially with the landscaping a uh, little harley rake like that would work great for laying in beds and everything else so i know the ones in in europe they have I think one of the machines they said had 400 different attachments and people use them over there for everything from mowing, you know, they'll have a front mower to just everything you can imagine. So that's one thing I, and I've heard that multi one now has, um, a factory in dist distribution centers in, in America. As far as the, the Chinese ones, I don't know anything about them. I know Stanley uh, Dirt Monkey is trying out the Worky, like the Worky Mini Quad, but you see, that's a skid. I don't believe in skidding. Um, and he's got 
the oh there's a, one of the best videos to show the advantages of a mini center articulating loader is on his channel and the video i was thinking of is where he's on a sidewalk and he comes around this fence on this this turn that you wouldn't think he'd be able to make it around but in that video he also illustrates the benefits of having the telescoping boom to load over the side I guarantee you, if you watch that video, you'll be impressed with the abilities of that machine. And I think that's a Chinese brand, but I'm not sure. But um, before you get anything, you need to really think about some of these issues. So you wanna take in as many different factors as you can, and it all depends on your area and the type of work you're gonna be doing. Also with the tract, um, skid steer when you got a turn on a hard surface it's going to leave a lot of black marks and stuff that's going to have to be cleaned up and there's going to be times when you're going to need to do that so that's another issue to consider